Uh, George Gross, German Expressionism. Bruegel, Goya, Les Dawson. George Formby. Kafka, Dostoevsky. That bloke in the off licence. And Reg. Right. in a cardboard box Hello invalids in the rain Hello lunatic who wears your shoes and socks Hello all you people in pain One interesting job I did do is uh, it's an archaeological dig is uh, cleaning the teeth of skulls in a grave that I excavated, which is quite an awesome task, taking sort of uh, your Colgate every morning in the brush to go down, jump down into a big wet ditch and clean them out, really. The first the first skeleton I discovered, I discovered the feet first, went up to the knees, up to the pelvis, the rib cage, to get to the top thing. I'm really not looking forward to this bit at the top. Got to the top and there wasn't the head on it. And I also found a grave with three legs in. Yeah. I've never been the same since. <laughs> a government training scheme, I thoroughly recommend them. I think I've got £23 a decade. Beneath insects squashed on a strip light, I draw your face in a puddle of beer. And I dream of girls with fingernails the colour of tomato ketchup. And the tattooed men, the tattooed men, they spit at the jukebox. <coughs> they spit at the jukebox. <coughs> and they talk about divorce until closing time. Do you remember kissing in the kitchen by the light of the ugly gas stove rolling naked on a bed of dead matches? As the cat scratched at the window, its claws screeching down the pane. Now there's a dead romantic with his hand on his heart, horizontal in the backyard rain. There's a dead romantic with his hand on his heart, horizontal in the backyard rain. Um, what, are, what are the men? Are, what sort of men are they? They're, uh, they couldn't stay babies for their mothers or buy new wardrobes for their wives, really. They n never send flowers. Own a house? No. Patio furniture? No. Second car? No. First car? No. Bicycle? No. Settee? No. Video? No. Ukulele? Yes. <laughs> Everything I draw tends to be sort of uh, isolated and withdrawn from a particular location. The songs are more like in a place, they're more like recognisable. <laughs> how, how long have you been known? Oh, quite a long time. <laughs> I've been doing the same. Whatever you're going to say, I knew, I knew I'd been doing it a long time because I don't do anything different. <laughs> now, it's all reduced to it's like it's like it's like the ukulele is uh, quite a, a parallel of doing that because it's like there's nothing else to seduce the person who's listening or the people looking at it because there's nothing there's no color to actually sort of get sort of seduced by there's no actual nice sounds to listen to it's all actually there and it's like that's what's there and it's like you can't enjoy any other nuances because they're not there kevin kinds a major influence did i mention him earlier on in between eastenders and dostoevsky there's people like that there's a few people not one about but i mean you know somebody like him has to leave england to be sort of recognized and as I've said, most people don't know who he is anyway these days. He was the first person Richard Branson signed up, so there's a sign of the...
times. People can take my ukulele away, but um, they'll never take my soul. 